Hello everybody, this is Wise Exotics. I just wanted to wish everyone a happy uh, World Carnivorous Plants Day. It's May 3rd, 2023, my time here in sunny California. Um, I'm your host, Trevor Wise. Uh, I grow Nepenthes, which are a carnivorous vining plant. And they're all over the world in various parts. Let's uh, get into it. So my collection here goes through various phases and trials. Uh, one of which is my current, uh, due to my health, I, I have was diagnosed with cancer at the beginning of this year. I've been going through chemo, so there's like a week or two I'm not here to watch or deal with my plants and someone else is here watching and, um, you know, taking care of them and whatnot. Morning and night they check them, so overall most of my plants seem to be doing well. I have had some fatalities. So what I've always done is I logged these videos at the start of the month. I do a general what's going on and how the plants are doing. And then at the end of the month, I go into details. So there's that. So let's start with the bad. Um, here is my Belii Cross Aristo plant A. I have two of them, A and B. This one has a basil, which got a little scorched on one leaf, but the overall plant is doing well. The basil is doing well. Its sibling, which is right here, had damaged growth tip, got burnt. I have trimmed the burnt part off, and I'm hoping it pushes through and grows. So that is, again, a Belii Risto. At the far back there, I don't know why this is hanging down. <laughs> uh, that's what I use to put water in the uh, pitchers on newer plants. A dropper. Over at the far back is a Belii cross Loei cross Ventricosa. It is a cutting from... Todd's Tropical Plants. It has a damaged growth tip as well from the thing uh, being scorched, so I trimmed the growth tip that was burnt down to hopefully a little above so it can push through easier. And to my usual experience on one that did it, it pushed through, had a yucky leaf, and then had a healthy growth tip. So I just have to be hopeful that those two push through. Those are the only current plants that are having problem at this time that I'm aware of, both in highland and lowland. Uh, most of my other plants that were damaged have already pushed through and are doing well. So let's talk about the good news, uh, or kind of another bad news. Good news, I got this plant. Bad news, it looks like I'm going to lose this pitcher, which is sad because look how vibrant red pink it is. Some yellows and stripes. This is a Cap uh, Clipiata cross Ima cross Fiji cross Loei. Turns out uh, Windesen Nepenthes Remy also has a very small seedling of this, so I'm excited to see it go. It looks like the leaf was damaged on shipping, and that's what's causing it. Things happen. The main plant is fine. So over here is its newest leaf. It did pop a new pitcher, and the pitcher's already opening, so I don't get to be without seeing it for a while. <laughs> It is quite a looker, very pink red um, uh, coloration again. Beautiful Vici-ish flare coming off with striping. I don't know if the striping's from the lowy eye. This lid shape is very similar to a Clipiata, given I have an actual Clipiata over in that corner. Uh, and I have a bunch of hybrids of Clipiata uh, to compare it to. It's very interesting. Uh, it's got a nice lid with coloration. I love the internal like white cream with like pink purple squarish uh, patterns inside. So that's overall. I just opened that today. Another plant I just unbagged out with it is a Spectabilis cross bong. So very creamy, stripey. I love the coloration. It's going to go up here, I think, or down there. I'm still undecided. Uh, another good thing, my Clipiata cross bong. So had a pitcher. And it popped so another dark pitcherish excuse me uh, a dark pitcher coloration coming in the leaves have always been on this similar to like this one which is a bong so spectacular very long whereas if you look at a pure clipita they've got almost round shield like leaves and a tendril that goes halfway so the tendril on this goes full length but the shaping and look looks like clipita the coloration is more bongso. Now the lid on this looks more bongso, so I'm curious to see how this one progresses. There are two other plants, this one and that one, are also Clipia cross bongso. I have three seed grown of those, so it'll be interesting to see how they grow. If there's no real difference between them, I might just sell off the other two. 
that's just how I am. I can keep the much bigger version. Maybe one will get stripes or something. I don't know. It, it's all dependent on plant RNG. Uh, let's see. So right here is my Peltata from Josh Kerner Plants. This is BE3464. It's a very slow grower. doesn't pitch very often, but it likes the basil. Uh, over here is my 4024 BE that I got from Arizona Nepenthes on one of his sales. Beautiful picture on it. It already has a new growth tip, looks happy, and it had another pitcher node. So I'm hopeful to compare these two as Peltatas are a very variant species and they do their own thing. Uh, let's see. Further down there, I moved my North Yana back. It was not happy in the lowland. It started to lose its pitchers and the leaves were doing this weird curly thing. So I have um, delicately picked it up and moved it over here. And for about a week, because uh, I left it in the lowland for a week, over here it already put out two new pitchers that look happy and healthy. At this point, I don't know why it's a happy and highland condition Northiana, because to my understanding, Northiana is a very, very sensitive plant. Uh, it does not like highland and it likes to be lowland. There is a cousin species to Northiana. I was actually just talking to somebody about this. It literally is a darker version of Northiana that is a highland species. This is not that, this is a BE3357. So me and a couple other people have been talking about this plant, trying to figure out what's going on with it. We're all a little confused and just kind of shrugging our letting it. I'm gonna let it do its thing over here and it seems to like it. I'd rather it be happy where it's at and then not be happy. Uh, down here, we'll talk about some of the other new ones. Uh, Nepenthes Valiant Beast, which is a uh, Velosa cross, uh, let's see, Brigsiana cross Judas Matiensis. I actually did win another plant that's of the exact same type of Grex, but the parents are different. Um, it's another seed grown one. From what I can see of this species, which are this variant, which is done by predatory plants, it's more orange vichii, very kind of neon orange with flare, little squat pitcher. Uh, the one that I just bought is more flared. It looks more like a Vichii and a Brigsiana mix. Less uh, Trismadiensis, so there's that. Now, all of these are, these two are seed grown, so I don't know how they will look in comparison to their sibling that's more mature. Nor do I know how the other one's gonna look, but the other one already has striping, so it looks more closer to its parent type anyway. So there's that. Uh, Next here is Lovely Serpent. You can see some of the pictures are already not happy. Then the others seem to be doing fine since I've acclimated and let it out for a couple of days. Uh, this is the Penthes. Now I have to think about it. Uh, Low AI, VGI, Cross, Bashiana, Cross, Singulana, Cross, uh, Hamada. So it has a very variant of traits in terms of size, shape, coloration, ribbing, striping. It's anyone's game what this will look like as it develops. I can already see some nice color in the picture, a little red speckling, which usually means it'll have a darker, redder color, hopefully. Uh, whenever my other ones do that, as an example, the Losa Hamada. So it might have dark coloring in its future. All these are seed grown, so it's all up in the air. <laughs> Until it matures a little more and we can see the coloration of the leaves, shaping, and pictures, it's up in the air. Uh, next here is a Glandiflora crosstures myensis from um, UE Grows. Uh, seed grown to my understanding. Beautiful ribbing and teeth. Little effect on it. Uh, let's see. In this bag are two uh, very complex hybrids. Uh, when I unbag them, it'll be this weekend, and then I'll go into that over that. Over here is my uh, Glendiflora cross Edwardsiana. This is also from Arizona Nepenthes. Let's see, ah, uh, another plant. So this is an interesting one. Uh, beautiful flared peristome, striping, pink red, very hot pink red. It's very vibrant um, and yellow. So this is a Clipiata cross Ima cross VGI cross Loia. Now, one thing I did not notice is this leaf seems to have been damaged in shipping from Flora Collab. It happens, the growth tip is fine, the main plant is fine, and it looks like it bought a new picture while it was in the bag, and I've been slowly acclimating it. So it seems to be very happy. 
Uh, this is also very vibrantly like pink red. As you can see, like I'm not using filters or anything. This is straight from my camera, uh, from my phone. I'm not playing with coloration. This is very interesting. Uh, nice striping. It's got a white with like a pink red purplish inside, very white and creamy. The lid is more clipiata, beautiful flare, kind of toothy on the inside. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure how this one will progress. Um, I did learn that Remy from Windows and Nepenthes has a seed sibling of this, so it'll be very interesting to compare his to mine and see how they develop. We're both very intrigued to see how they look. So mine is a more mature specimen for his to compare to as it develops, so yay. I wasn't expecting it. I bought this on the Flore Collabs little drip sale. It was, it's very sad, it was on sale. And it was just such a nice plant and it's seed grown, so yeah, individual seedling. The more mature, uh, as you can see, is bigger, has flare, it's like a VCI lid. Or a VCI um, ribbing. So, that's that one. I'm going to keep this one over here because I really like looking at the picture. Uh, let's see. Uh, clip it across bong. So, there's also one bag today. Doing well. I'm going to stick it right here next to my Peltata because it's another one. I just like looking at the picture. Uh, let's see. Going over here in the Highlands, um, moving from the back, we will look at the Edwardsiana. has a new leaf and picture. Uh, its current picture note is in there. It seems to be very happy. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Uh, supposedly they don't like too much light, too much heat, more intermediate mix between intermediate and highland, but they like a lot of humidity, so humidity domed it. And it seemed to instantly perk up and be very happy. So we're gonna let it do that. Um, in comparison to the leaf it originally had, the new leaf is already bigger. So I'm hopeful it will be happy. It is a very uh, precious plant. Now down here is my AW1 Hamada. This is my first Hamada. I had a lot of problems with it and I bought it at the same time I had an AW2 female. Yes, I've had one, two, and four um, AWs. Uh, I lost my two due to root rot and I almost lost AW1 here to root rot. I then learned of a method using hydroperoxide, which I've gone over this quite a few times on my channel. Uh, one part hydrogen peroxide, eight parts water. Uh, you let the roots soak in it. And you can even do an intense just pure hydrogen peroxide bath in the roots. If it's that bad, do that, but don't let it touch the leaves. And that has saved two of my plants. One is a Singulana cross diabolica, which is over there. And this AW1 Hamada. After doing so, as you can see, it was not very happy. The leaves were all curling and just not doing well. So I stuck it in the humidity dome because I have two other baby hamadas that are doing well. And it instantly perked up. It popped a leaf and it popped another leaf as of like a couple of days ago. And it's already got a growth tip that's already growing very well. So it seems very happy in with the other hamadas and I'm hopeful it'll recover and do well. So like that. Um, here, Macrophilia seems to be doing well. Super slow growing plant that it is. So is my Velosa. Very tiny, very tiny Velosa. Great to compare to my Velosa Hamada here, which is doing extremely well. Some people are asking, how am I doing this and whatnot? I honestly don't know. I have Northiana that's doing weird things. I have Ultra Highlands that seem perfectly happy where I'm doing them. I'm not gonna argue, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. <laughs> no complaints. So that's the Highlands. Uh, there's nothing going on there. Uh, oh yeah, I did get a new fan in here. It's much more powerful and I can keep it on low and it keeps the room nice and cool. I did get two orchids for Rex because he does miss, his, uh, miss the Nepenthes that were up here. So I got him some little, so he has at least some plants and jungle to look at. Keep him entertained. Uh, let's see, of the lowland, I don't have anyone having problems. As you can see, they all seem to be doing really well. Some are coming back, uh, some are pushing out new growth. So we're, we're doing great there. Um, I'm hopeful Suki will eventually acclimate it like humidity, but they can handle pretty low humidity to what I understand. 
but it's doing its own thing. The chicken sound is polo because I'm near her favorite plant, which is this one, which is cherry bomb. I've named its seed sibling, which is right there, a uh, fireball. <laughs> so there are two of those. It looks like we'll have another picture from my Raffalancia cross Gobasa, I believe. Gobasa Raffalancia, yes. Uh, it's doing really well. My Vichii Mira looks like it has a new picture that's slowly developing. There and there. Yeah, it did a weird leaf thing. It was not happy. And so I pushed it in here thinking in the lowland tank. It might do better with humidity and whatnot just because it's a sealed tank and it so far seems to be pushing out a, a very happy, healthy leaf. Um, my Glandiflora seedling was not happy at all when I got it. I did not notice this, but my one diatis is like over. We're going to fix that. Oh, that is why it's stuck somehow. Let's um, save that picture. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it was tucked in there. Silly plant. Uh, Truncata's doing well. Got big leaves. Uh, as I said, the lowland seems to be just quite happy. I did shift things around. I put my weird variegated plant over here, and by variegated I mean super light leaf. Uh, in comparison, as you see how these leaves are darker, you can see which ones are lighter. Um, they don't have white striping variegation, but it is a lighter leafing. I'm calling it a variegated plant for now. The pictures are even a bright yellow when they start. It's a car zero, car zero zero six six. So if you need to look at what plant that is, that's that one. I haven't seen another one doing this bright coloring, so it's weird. Uh, so I stuck it in here because a lot of these have that similar coloring because uh, they're also weirdly crossed in here and back cross so uh, they're more sensitive to light and whatnot so I don't give them too much uh, intensive lighting so uh, if anybody has any questions comments concerns uh, let me know uh, anybody wants to see a specific plant or go into it I can try to compare like the two peltatas or any of my clipita um, whatnots